I'm Jamie Evans uh, with the uh, Ames Plantation Research and Education Center here at the uh, Ames Plantation in Grand Junction, Tennessee. My title is uh, Senior Research Associate. This house uh, was originally known as the Dillon House, uh, taking the name of the family that built it and lived in it for many, many years. Uh, it's currently known as the Stencil House. The house was originally built in Wayne County, Tennessee, we think around the mid-1830s. And uh, at some point, um, about seven years ago, I guess it was, we were approached here at the Ames Plantation uh, with the idea that uh, the house be relocated here to this facility in hopes of uh, being able to restore it and preserve it for future generations. And today it is known as the stencil house uh, of the Ames Plantation. And we are at this point making slow but steady progress toward uh, restoring the house back to its original uh, condition. The stenciling that's found here is uh, Originally uh, from the northeastern United States, it was in use in the late 1700s through the 1820s and 1830s. Uh, it was uh, the stencil pattern that's found here was created uh, by Moses Eaton, who was a very popular uh, painter and decorator in the northeastern United States in the early 19th century. And the way that it came to Wayne County uh, as a folk art is that uh, a lot of the um, the settlers who were moving into the what at that time was the wilderness of the uh, of the Tennessee area were moving away from more refined living conditions and they were moving into uh, an undeveloped uh, unsettled area uh, one of their biggest hopes and aspirations was to be able to match some of the living conditions that they had left uh, in their homes in the Carolinas and points east of here and uh, in other parts of Tennessee so the um, as a result of that desire, a lot of these stencilers from the Northeast began to ply their trade throughout the newly settled areas. And they would essentially put their packs on their back with all of their painting materials and they would hit the road. Or as the case was, uh, they would uh, hit the steamboats and they primarily travel the water courses, the Tennessee, the Ohio rivers. Uh, they would stop in communities and they would paint. Uh, decorating these frontier homes. Uh, when they worked an area out and there was no more business to be found there, they would catch the next boat and move on down the river. Uh, that's the way that this, uh, this painting was brought to Wayne County, Tennessee, uh, which is uh, very near the Tennessee River. We were fortunate that uh, we were able to get the house uh, moved to Ames when we did because it was in the latter stages of decay at that point. Uh, had another six months to a year passed, the house would not have been movable and probably not salvageable. So essentially our first objective was to move it to Ames where we could take care of it, uh, protect it from vandals, protect it from the weather. And that's exactly what we did. We brought it here, we stabilized it, and at that point we began to seek uh, funding to make the restoration possible. Uh, progress has been made, significant progress has been made to date. Uh, we will continue that effort to bring the house back to the condition that it was in the mid to early uh, 19th century. Uh, at that point, the house will be open uh, to the general public. It will be shared with all Tennesseans because it truly is a Tennessee treasure.